how do you let go of people who obviously don't want to be around you anymore? We accept the love we think we deserve. Accept the love you deserve. Don't settle for any less surround yourself with people who enjoy you and your company. Create a separation between the idealized image of the friendship in your head and reality. Often when we struggle to let go of someone, it's not actually the person we are clinging to, but the fantasy of what we want them to be. Your worth is intrinsic. It isn't tied to a proverbial goalpost, positioned by someone outside yourself. Give yourself permission to feel the good things about yourself that you are trying to derive from this person. People who are not invested in you are not a good use of your time, energy, love, and effort. You deserve mutually fulfilling relationships that you don't have to beg for. Also, use this time to take an interest in yourself. Focus on you. Figure out what you want outside of the scope of anyone else. Honor those desires. Letting go is a good time to do this. Kinda dealing with this myself RN, I find myself still wanting to message them, offer support and generally just be there for them. I keep having to stop myself. You just gotta take time and try to step back, even if you don't want to. As a 66 year old woman, I can assure you life is too short to spend a rounds of energy on people like this. Direct it to something that brings you pleasure. Get out of the house for a walk, take a remote class, call an old friend, foster a cat, bake some brownies to leave with a neighbor. Give it some time, but if you still can't let it go, see a therapist to talk it out, you'll find your way. Decide to let go of them, and then remind yourself of that decision. It isn't easy, but the habit does build eventually. I wonder what they're up to. Oh, no, wait. I've let them go. Your brain will start to believe you eventually. Edit. Thank you for the awards, friends. If they don't want to be around you anymore, respect yourself and create some distance between yourself and them. The world is a big place and life is too short, especially in the middle of a global pandemic, to keep the company of those who don't appreciate what you have to offer the world. Just let them go. Whatever is going on in their heads isn't your responsibility. Yes it's painful, and you may never know their reason. Happened to me with some best friends. They just ghosted me at a time when I was going through some personal crisis. They were people who always called me when they needed me, but I guess I stopped being useful slash needed, so they weren't real friends after all. I just accept it, but depending of the situation I'm willing to let them in again, when they are open for it again. People who isolate themselves because of depression, or got other issues because of life, I'm open to let them in again, when they are ready. But people who tells you they got cooler people to hang with and treats you like air, and freezes you out, I flat out ignore those people. I guess if you are around age of 16 it can hurt that more for some people, where friendship feels like the world. Just accept it, even if it can be hurting or frustrating, there are other people out there, and or if you are one of those lucky people you also got a good family who watches over you with care and love. Slowly stop being around them. The best way, I think, is to find another group of people who you feel comfortable around. And then you can start surrounding yourself with them. Over time you can spend more time together and start lessening the time with the people who don't want to be around you. You can do the same with yourself if you don't want a new group of people. You can start having more me time and slowly transition to always spending time alone if you don't mind being alone and try your best to stop contacting them as much. If it's evident they don't want to be around you, you're only hurting yourself by putting yourself with them, if that makes sense. If everyone moves on without you checking in, then the truth is they don't really need you there. I'm on the flip side here. I'm the one who has sort of pushed my best friend away due to realizations with my own life and mental health. Initially he would always try to see what's up, and I'd just push him away more. Now he's slowly giving up, and letting me be. 
but this isn't what I want. I still love him as good friend it's just hard to go back to how it was with the amount of shit going on with me right now. I don't want to part ways. Anyone got any advice? Just peace out. Walk away mentally and emotionally before you walk away physically. And then, don't turn around. Ace of base doesn't turn around. Be like ace of base. They'll probably run back for you, but don't let them turn your head. Keep going. Keep that door closed. It's more humane. From someone who has recently got out of a toxic friend group, it's better to detach yourself slowly. I started focusing on self-love and simultaneously taught myself to let go. Today, I'm in a better place with better people who value me. But it all started with me being my own best friend. I kid can be a little hard, but it all gets better along the way. Keep telling yourself don't think about them and that you deserve better. Then you'll let go. Have you ever watched curling? It's like that. Just let them go and someone else gets to sweep. My best advice is knowing your self-worth and focusing on yourself. I went through a rough patch this last year with someone not wanting me in their life anymore because of a breakup. The best thing I did for myself was delete my social media and take time for myself, doing things I enjoyed, rather than sit around waiting for a change. I started to paint, do yoga, and go back to church which I really enjoyed. I also changed my diet completely and started working out. I improved myself because I did not want him to think I was devastated and dependent on him. I was devastated, but I did not want to give him that satisfaction. Doing the things you enjoy will allow you to focus on that and start to forget. That helped me with letting go of my wish to be with him. I hope you're doing well. Focus on yourself. Don't let anyone question your self-worth. Do you still want to be around them? If so, why? If so, how much? If so, why? Loop that around a couple of times and you have the answer. Every minute you spend with them is a minute you cold spent on yourself or with someone who does want to be with you. People fall in and out of love in both romantic and platonic relationships. It's natural and it's fine. Respect their choice and move on. Don't take it personally and get lost in it. It may be painful in the start, but you want to be with people that honestly want to be with you. I usually just fake my death. Worked all but one time. Step back, unfollow slash mute so you are not reminded of them every few seconds. And tell yourself every time you need it that every minute you spend wanting to be around them is doing yourself a disservice. This is a terribly sad question to ask, and more than likely everyone reading will have some experience with it as well. For me it comes mainly down to respect for yourself. First up you stop putting them first or even thinking of what they might want over and above not being around you anymore. Don't be mean or cold to them, just stop contacting them. Maybe they'll instigate contact with you after that, and then you have to make a decision, but basically now you have to come to terms with this separation. More importantly you're in control of the situation and that is important. From there you just take it day by day. Boost yourself because you'll need it. Do worthwhile things that make you feel better, whatever that might be for you. Always be the bigger person in these situations. Much love to you. Find hobby or new friends to invest time until you don't think about them as much slash stop caring. You make yourself your priority. If someone doesn't want me in their life, it's their loss. You can't and shouldn't want to control someone else's life and their choices. We all choose how long we are in each other's lives and for how long. If you aren't a priority person in their life, you shouldn't have them as a priority in yours. It's all about balance. This is what the great 2020 day barkle has taught me. You just cease contact. Happened to me. Haven't spoken since. Losing friends is tough. Especially when you end up having none left. And it's difficult to make new ones. It gets easier with time. I am half asleep while typing this. So I cannot remember who said this. The two hardest phases in life are. 
1. At a letting go of your art arm and so, state of being, people, places, things etc. And 2. Are uh, embracing the no state of being, people, places, things etc. Our lives are a constant cycle of embracing something new, living with it, and then letting go. I hope that the realization that this cycle will go on helps you gain perspective. It hurts more to feel unwanted than to never see them again. Lend them money. They'll silently remove themselves. People who don't want me around asterisk asterisk and d have other friends who can support them asterisk asterisk. Asterisk just let them do whatever they want. They're an adult. People who don't want me around asterisk asterisk but don't seem to have anyone else around. Asterisk contact them at increasing intervals to see if they want to be re-included in whatever it is you can offer them. Party invites, gaming sessions, exercise workouts, zoom calls, etc. A simple yo, I'm cycling to X with a bunch of friends next weekend, do you wanna join? Is sufficient. Asterisk introduce them to a few other people they might find common interests in. Stop calling them. Most people are too lazy and self-absorbed to follow up. Works well in the instances I've needed.